You can think of web app for containers as a pass for container based web apps. Well, pass stands for platform as a service. Using web app for containers, you can easily deploy and run containerized applications that scale with your business. Web app for containers provides you a fully managed platform to perform the infrastructure maintenance. You can take advantage of the built in auto scaling and load balancing. You can streamline your continuous integration and then continuous deployment with Docker Hub or Azure Container Registry and GitHub. It's time now to look at a demo of DevOps in action. I'm inside my Azure portal and this is my subscription. I'll go to more services and then I'm going to click on DevOps and we should see a filter of services and then here is the DevOps project so I'm gonna click on it to create the new DevOps project for web app for containers so I'm gonna say create DevOps projects and uh, it says start fresh with a new application so I'm gonna take same .NET uh, as a use case here and then I'm gonna say next and since we're going to be doing the containerized uh, web app, so ASP.NET Core is pretty fantastic in that because you can run ASP.NET Core on Linux or Mac OS or Windows, so it makes perfect sense to put ASP.NET Core inside a Docker container. So as you can see here, it says cross-platform open source framework for building modern web apps and services. So I'm going to say next. Now you get to choose the option where do you want to create a Windows, do you want to create Linux, or do you want to create a based on a container. So the Linux option is nothing but it's a web app service uh, on Linux platform. Whereas now we're going to be looking at web app for containers, meaning fully managed compute platform on Linux for deploying and running the containerized web application. So let's select this and then we go next. Now it's asking for the Visual Studio Team Services, um, since this is a full package, meaning uh, starting from source code till the deployment, everything will be created now. So it's asking for where should the code be kept. So I'm going to say use existing. So I already have my own VSTS. And here I'm going to say ASP.NET Core Web App Container Demo. And that repo is not available, so it can go ahead and then create new repo with that same name. Here's my subscription, and then the app name is going to be ASP.NET Core Web App Container Demo. Since I'm in the Europe, I'm going to pick uh, West Europe as my location. The pricing tier is uh, standard, and I'm going to click on uh, Done. So now what it is doing is it's submitting uh, my request and then deploying the DevOps project. So we can click on it and then notice here what is happening. It says deploying 18 seconds. And what is it trying to do? Well, it's going to create a web app with this so-and-so name. It's going to create a hosting plan. The app insights is going to be in South Central US. It says S1 standard tire. The registry name, uh, since we are now looking at uh, web app for container, so you need to have a registry. So the registry name is, uh, it, it automatically creates a registry for me. Um, and as you can see here, it is, tr it is uh, telling me that these are the resources that will be created. Now let's see if uh, the deployment has finished. I'm going to refresh this. It is still deploying. And notice here, I start seeing more and more resources coming up now. Let me see if I can. Yeah, here you go. Uh, here's the container demo. This is the web app probably. Here's the hosting plan. This probably is the registry. And uh, so it has been, the Azure is now busy creating my uh, resources. So let me, with the magic of uh, editing, I'm going to come back and then uh, show you once the deployment has finished. I'm back inside the portal and then now it seems like the deployment has succeeded. As you can see in the notifications panel, it says deployment succeeded. Uh, go to resource or pin to dashboard. I already have it pinned here, so I'm going to click on go to resource. This should take me directly into my DevOps project. So let it load. And there we go. So this is what uh, Azure creates uh, within a couple of minutes. As you can see here, it starts with code. Here is the repository that it has created. It says here's a master branch. The first commit has already been done. So let's take a look at what we have here in the code. 
and this is my repository as you can see there is ASP.NET Core, .NET Core uh, demo and if we expand that particular folder this is going to be the bare bone ASP.NET Core uh, source code but what's different is we should see a docker file here and in the docker file you should see it says from Microsoft ASP.NET Core build 1.1 as build environment working directory is the slash app folder and it's copying the complete CS proj to the current um, folder that is app then it's doing .NET restore and then it says copy over everything um, you know and then it does .NET publish to the out folder and then runtime image is here uh, ASP.NET Core 1.1 working directory slash app and then copy from build environment to the output and then the entry point so we are now launching the app we are using basically the docker file to compose the docker image apart from this everything else is the same uh, asp.net code that we know of so let me close this and then notice here it says there's a build already created for us so let's take a look at the build script and it's opening up the build. Notice already one build has been done. It says succeeded. So let me click on edit the build and uh, look at the script, the steps that are there. And there you go. So this is not a regular build, but rather it's saying build an image. So this is going to, since it's a container based app, so it's building a Docker image. And uh, everything has been written for me. It says, uh, remember when we create this particular DevOps project there's already a container registry created for us it uses the Azure container registry and here is the login server ASP.NET Core web app container demo afd 5azure container registry.io and then it knows my subscription it has taken everything there uh, the action is build file it looks at the docker file and then the image name is going to be like this that is the registry slash ASP.NET Core web app container demo and then the build ID so typically you put a uh, tag onto your uh, images so that's the tag name here the build ID is going to be the tag in this case and uh, that's it and then it pushes the image to the registry once the, ima uh, the image has been built it's going to be pushed and that's our build script now let's take a look at the release pipeline what it is trying to do since now we have a uh, docker image that needs to be hosted and then uh, run so let's take a look at the release pipeline and we have the dev street built up for us or the dev environment that has been built up and let's take a look at the task and it just says deploy azure app service it knows about the image notice here and then it says uh, registry is here and the image is this one the tag is the build id and then that's it uh, now it's going to be deployed and then we will have our uh, the url for the app coming up so and let's see where is the url so here it is the application endpoint is asp.net core web app container demo dot azure websites dot net i can click on the browse and let's see if uh, the site has uh, warmed up and then we should see the uh, pages coming up and here is our website beautifully hosted inside a docker container which is now registered under the azure container registry and then we are running this as a uh, you know web app and that's all it takes to create um, a DevOps project which is for web app for containers on Azure. I hope uh, you got a quick lap around the different things that uh, the DevOps project does, the code, the build, the, the release pipeline and then finally hosting it and then uh, you know running the web app itself.